Well, that, <laughs> that's a great question. And that's the million dollar question. And most people can never figure out why would you go to St. Paul Island? This is the National Weather Service Office in Anchorage. The coastal waters forecast for the following Kirtle Island at St. Paul, light snow and fog were reported. Gale warning today, heavy freezing spray in the morning. The temperature was 33 degrees. The wind was east at 40 miles an hour gusting to 49 producing a wind chill of 17. Seas 21 feet. There's this old fella down in Cold Bay that uh, drove his truck on the ferry every fall, and he'd be sitting out in Cold Bay, it, sleeping in the back of a pickup truck, hunting brants and Canadian and geese. And I, he invited me over one day for, for drinks in the back of his truck, because you know he knew I was out there guiding, and he got telling me this story about this mystical place, you know, St. Paul Island. At the time, I honestly didn't even know what a king eider was. I wasn't a sea duck guide. I, you know, I, was, I started as a fishing guide in the 80s, and then I uh, transitioned into big game hunting. I was an assistant guide, then a you know, class A up and up. And then I started the waterfowl hunting a few years later just as a way to extend my season. And once I started the waterfowl hunting and the exploring, you know, using my airplane, I, I, can, I took it as almost like big game hunting where you get in an airplane, you leave King Sam and you fly down these beaches and these coasts, you go to these unexplored areas that have never been hunted. I mean, even my wife, she sometimes would say, man, I don't know, you're this crazy guy that wants to go do all these crazy places and explore and learn. And I just, you know, sometimes you have a gut feeling. And, you know, I've always wanted to be a leader and go where nobody else had balls big enough to do it. St. Paul is the world's most extreme sea duck hunt, straight up. It has a reputation for brutal weather, big waves, cold, snow, rain, wind, the, the tides and the currents. And you know, so that is one of the biggest trying uh, problems that we have is just getting to the water a lot of days, not even being able to hunt. It's not just about the duck hunting, it's about the adventure and the expedition. And that's what you're gonna get out of. Right, 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 right. 